At this point, I don't believe in reality anymore <laughs> because the conspiracy theories are just statistically more, way more accurate it seems, at this it's, point. Yeah, it's crazy that it's coming that way. And yeah, and yeah to me, the yeah, like we know how the term conspiracy theory is used now. Like, yes, there's some lunatic conspiracy theories that mm-hmm. I think are just like, dude, uh, I don't know how many brain cells you're missing. I don't <laughs> And then there's what are labeled conspiracy theories that are like, oh, we have evidence that's mm-hmm. yeah. quite true. Um, so we know how people use the term conspiracy mm-hmm. theory. It's the same term that, or the same way that unfortunately terms like you know, you're a racist, you're homophobic, yeah. transphobic, misogynist. It's just a playbook of smears in order to protect oneself against critically analyzing someone else's mm-hmm. point of view. Uh, you know, I find these terms, they're not logically applied most of the time. They're emotionally applied. Like there's mm-hmm. an emotional reactivity that says, oh, conspiracy theory. Yeah. And then we have a divided consciousness happening. But if there's like, to me, an open mind says, oh, you're saying something I didn't know. Mm-hmm. You're saying something that I feel objections about. Let me understand your point of view more. Doesn't mm. mean I'll agree. I might think you're even crazier after yeah. you explain it more. But that's a connective consciousness where we can actually connect in spite of agreement or disagreement. Mm-hmm. And I think that happens when people can access their intelligence in any given moment. But when we're just like, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist, well, yeah. you're a crazy leftist. It's a well, reaction. You're a rac- yeah, it's like a comedic reaction to anything that they actually haven't digested properly. Absolutely. Right? It, it yeah. shuts down connection, it divides, mm-hmm. and leaves one feeling more justified yeah. in yeah. the perspective. Yeah, yeah it's interesting. I, I feel like we've talked about this a few times in our podcast, but the one time we really saw this in our community is when um, we supported a a protest a movement that was happening for freedom and we really on social media just said you know what we're just we support the idea of that we should mandate freedom and that the, people should have the choice to choose whatever they want to yeah. do that was it like we kind of we kept it positive we weren't going too far to each side and even just from something very very middle ground we saw people calling us white supremacists. Oh my God. Like they went so far to a point. I remember like I, it affected me emotionally. Obviously I'm a very <laughs> receptive person. And I was just so confused how people could take something so simple and turn it into so dark to yeah. be like, because I say support a protest that is protesting about, you know, can, especially we're in Canada originally. So there's a lot of, craziness happens there yeah um, oh, Jesus. and because there were certain people that went to these protests that let's just say could have been even placed by the government who knows that oh, I, waved a nazi flag or I something saw it. from what i understand they were placed yeah. there yeah. they were actually placed and there then, right saw, away, but, but the, it's a conspiracy well, but i literally they, yeah, pro- they proved person. it yeah and then the media obviously reports that and then the people that are just consuming that one source of media all of a sudden just jump to this conclusion that this was a white supremacy thing yeah. and as soon as you stand up and say i support the movement that's happening all of a sudden they just put you in this bucket without actually thinking about what you're saying reading even what yeah. you're describing in your social media post and just labeling you like that and you're like whoa that was harsh and very drastic <laughs> to put somebody in a bucket that they're supporting something so different you mm-hmm. know what i mean like it breaks my brain <laughs> and i'm curious how it's been for you uh, that's obviously a great example mm-hmm. but on the whole how it's been for you because i know the call it like yoga community, new age community, um, it, it seems to lean more towards, hey, we support the narrative. I know so many people who like, no, 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 I'm independently thinking mm-hmm. on this. Mm-hmm. And I know some people in those communities who are closeted, like JP, like uh, these people are crazy. I, I'm not really saying what I really mm-hmm. think because they're going to excommunicate me. Um, So whether it's good, bad, or in the middle, I'm curious what y'all's experience has been on the whole. It's interesting. I find it's a, it's in the circles. I mean, we don't, I guess in Nassara is where we spend a lot of time socially and socially, it seems like I think a lot of people that left to Nassara sort of lead in the independent thoughts sort of reign of things. But then you also get some situations which have been really beautiful. Like 
you'll be all having a dinner and a, you know, a conversation will come up and you'll speak your, your truth. You know, we were talking, I think about mandates of vaccinations and, you know, everybody talks and talks and talks. And then you realize there's two people from Colorado at the table and they haven't said a word. Yeah. But what's beautiful about that is that we find the space upon acknowledging that to actually discuss things through and to share food mm -hmm. and to have that conversation and have an open space for it. Yeah. And I think that that is, all I've ever asked and looked for because anything I think I love the idea of tomorrow I'd love to rethink it again yeah. and test it again and hear something new and, and run it through another round of tests again and like to constantly allow the space to to let others evolve what I think yeah. that's that's being human like we're growing every day we should be evolving and trying to be better and more self-aware and more smart but like digging so dig, digging your heels in at a dinner and turning that into you know warfare is a terrible terrible but thought we have seen but that then, like on a larger scale but then when you get online online oof. community it's yeah. very very divisive and it's crazy and again another thing that breaks my brain a lot because i'm like well this is a yoga community yoga is about unity it's about like really embracing oneness of everything and being open and compassionate to everybody and i i see like this whole problem and situation all of us are just finding a way to feel safe yeah. right like we're all just looking to feel safe and okay if i want to do this because it makes me feel safe okay then do it i don't want to do it because it doesn't make me feel safe then don't do it you know it's like we have the right to do yeah. that and yoga is about accepting one another and loving each other for that but all i've i've seen from the online community is divide yeah divide it's that, like as, and as soon as even with that post that, that post we said was crazy actually like as soon as you even speak on the subject right away they're like your yogis don't go into politics how is freedom <laughs> like, politics is... how are we even saying anything to like uh, we never following even... your own heart exactly your own How's that politics? Like, it's, right? it, and again i'm just like it's been a really confusing time like for yeah. us but... personally just to see how all of this is happening but at the same time you're also seeing people you know try to bring it into one it's like when yeah. the discussions mm -hmm. and the and the arguments began on cert certain platforms like people are standing up for and to, to give it due respect to like mm -hmm. the dumpster fire of comments that this erupted this this specific situation there was people on both sides that were just like just viscerally like spewing just yeah. like fire at each other yeah and both sides are just way outside like both like uh, you know what like that's that's not yoga either exactly. if this is what you're trying yeah. to say like it is about listening like yeah. it's just about and considering and then yes yeah, standing your truth hi friends if you enjoyed this clip and want to watch the entire episode click the link in the description of this video to enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe